With so many services available online, it's easier than ever to do business with MDOT MBA. So easy, we put together a list of the only things you can't do online. That means if you don't see it mentioned here, that service is available at your convenience on our website or on a self-serve kiosk. Our MDOT MBA team is here and ready to walk you through the list. Hi, my name is Dan Gao. One reason you'll have to visit me is to take the commercial and non-commercial driver skills test. Since COVID-19, MDOT MVA has modified the non-commercial driver skills test as a safety precaution. Visit our website for more information on the measures we've put into place. New drivers coming in to take the learner's permit for the first time will also find a practice version of the test online at mva.maryland.gov. Hi, I'm Govi, and one reason you might have to visit me is to resolve outstanding insurance violations. Many insurance cases can be resolved online, but cases that specifically involve the Central Collections Unit may require an in-person visit. If you are unsure whether your insurance case warrants an in-person visit, please contact the CCU. Hi, my name is Liz, and the third reason to visit an MDOT MBA branch office is to complete your vehicle titling or registration transaction with the rollout of Customer Connect. You can now start a vehicle titling appointment online, reducing the time you spend in the branch. An in-person appointment is required to complete the transaction by presenting required documents. Hi, my name is Grady, and the next reason to visit an MDOT MBA branch is to add a hazmat endorsement to your commercial driver's license. There are many options for commercial drivers online, including renewing or ordering a duplicate of a CDL. But this is one service that must be completed in person. Customer interested in this service should review our DL084 application available on our website. Hi, I'm Tamika, and one reason to visit a branch office is to change your name. Customers must come in to present the document that initiate the name change, such as a marriage license or divorce decree. Be sure to check that you have the correct documents before coming in for your appointment. Hi, I'm Sharon, and one reason to visit a branch office is if you are a new Maryland driver. If you're moving from out of state and need to get a Maryland learner's permit or driver's license, an appointment will be required to present documents. Stick around for more information on Real ID. Hi, I'm Phil, and the seventh reason to visit a branch is to get the motorcycle endorsement added to your license. After passing the class, just present the certificate of completion at a branch to get the Class M endorsement added to your license. Hi, I'm Ashley, and the next reason to visit me is to complete an IRP transaction. The International Registration Plan, known as IRP, is an agreement that applies to some commercial vehicles that travel across state lines. If your vehicle has not yet been titled in Maryland, you will need an appointment. Other IRP transactions can be completed through our IRP portal on our eStore. For more information, please visit our website. Hi, my name's Chaz, and one of the biggest reasons to visit an MDOT MBA branch office is to provide real ID documents. There are several reasons to provide documents, including a first-time ID or license, transferring your ID or license from out of state, and if you are due for renewal but do not yet have real ID documents on file. To learn more about Real ID and to check your Real ID status, visit our Real ID lookup tool here. Hi, I'm Ricky B, and the final reason to visit a branch is the non-resident permit. This allows students, active duty military, and others here longer than 60 days with an out-of-state license and registration to drive in Maryland if they meet our requirements. Visit our online document guide before your appointment to make sure you have all the documents you need. Appointments for those services can be made online using our central scheduling system. Now, here's a look at some of the items that we didn't mention. All of these services are available to complete online using the MDOT MBA eStore. When you visit our website, check out the first stop tool. It pops up as soon as you visit our homepage. And by entering your information, you're able to see what services you're eligible to complete online. And by using the eStore, remember, you're helping us fight the spread of COVID-19 by completing these services from the comfort and safety of home. Now, do remember, if you have to visit us, be sure to wear your mask and adhere to social distancing guidelines. As always, we look forward to providing you with premier customer service.